Hi everyone, uh, this is Chauke speaking. Uh, I'll be taking you through building and, constru and structural construction N6. All right, uh, and the topic will be world connections. Okay, so now I took a question from your book. Uh, it's found in page forty. All right, and then it is like uh, calculate the maximum tensile load a fillet well joined with a leg size of four millimeters, and an effective length of two hundred millimeters can support safety. Grade of steel is forty three. Okay, as I said, the example is in page 40. Right, so there we have our connection. This is our member, which is in tension. Okay, and it's welded to a plate, probably gasset plate. All right, and um, here is the weld. All right, the distance is 100 millimeters and also 100 millimeters on the other side. And we're also given the leg size to be four millimeters so this is the force that we want to determine the force that will be able to be carried by this wild connection okay so that's what we are looking for okay let's go to step number one step number one we want to determine the effective length all right um we appointed to close 10.7.2.1 okay which is found in page 107 in your book so now let's go and read this clause it says effective length of the weld the effective length of a weld shall be taken as the length of continuous full sized weld all right now let us go back to our diagram you will see here that the size of a weld is 100 and on the other side it's also 100 though we are given here let's say we're not given this effective length right from the equation we will be able to determine it by adding this two length 100 plus 100 which gives us 200 so that is our effective length so then now let us go to step number two Step number two, we want to determine the throat, right? Again, we are directed to another clause, clause 10.7.1.2, which is also found in page 107, right? So I took only, it is in page uh, paragraph number four, okay? I just only took a relevant uh, paragraph there. So it says, the effective throat thickness, which is denoted by A, shall be taken as the perpendicular distance from the root of the weld to a straight line joining the fusion faces and lying within the cross section of the weld. So I want us to go back and have a look at this. Now let's see uh, these two pictures here. All right. So here we have these two members which are welded together. Okay, so it's the same thing even on the other side here. Two members welded together. So from that clause, it is telling us that the throat should be what should be a perpendicular distance from the root of the weld. All right, from the root of the weld. So if you, you have, a, if we can look at this one now. Here is the root of the weld. Okay, so it's a line that will be taken from here, which is going to be perpendicular with this line. All right, with this line, which is joining what the fusion faces. So it's more clear on this other picture here. So here is your throat distance. All right. I want you to take note of this one, the leg length. All right, take note of that. If we go back here, the first portion of the clause was still defining what a throat is, all right, and how we can identify it. But then now, the second part of the clause, which reads like, the throat thickness shall, however, not be taken 
has more than 0, 0,707 times the unit size, which is needed by E of the word. So this second part of the clause here, it is telling us how we're going to calculate it. Okay, so if we go back to um, this diagram now, they are telling us that this A, which is a throat, should not be more than 0, 0,707 times the size of this one. Okay, which is the leg length. So now, this is where we get this formula here. A is equal to 0, 0,707 times e which is our leg length and you also remember that the leg length here it is given to be what four millimeters so it's there as well okay so now e is four and then we substitute our four here and then when we multiply 0, 0,707 by four we get 2,828 millimeters okay so this is our throat now, if we go to step number three, here we want to determine the area of the world. Okay, we want to determine the area of the world. So here's the formula. Area is equals to L times A. What is our L? L is the effective length, which is calculated or determined right from step number one. And A is the throat, which is determined at step number two. So L, you remember, it is 200, and our throat here is 2,828 millimeters. And when you multiply the two, you get 556,6 millimeters. Okay, so now this is the area of our world. So if we proceed to step number four, we want to determine what? The allowable stress, okay? Again, we are pointed to clause. This clause is clause 10.7.1.2, which is also found in page 107 in your book. Okay, so let's go to the clause and see and see what they are saying. So I've only extracted paragraph number one, all right, which is just relevant for our question here. So it says fillet weld. The allowable stress in a fillet weld shall be taken as 130 MPA for grade 43 steel and 135 MPA for grade 300 W steel. All right. So if you were to go back to your, our question, if we were to go back to our question here, we are being told that the grade of the steel is what? Is for the three. So now because the grade of the steel is for the three, we are able to say now the allowable stress is one third MPA, all right? So that's where, or that's how we determine it. So step number five, we want to determine uh, the maximum load, our F. So here is the general formula for stress. Stress is supposed to load over area, all right? And when you make load, the study the formula, and then it says uh, load is equals to stress times area. All right, so you remember stress 130. Why? Because our grade is 45. And then area, we've determined it from step number four, which is 565.6 millimeters squared. And then when you multiply the two, we have 70. 73,528 newtons and then when we divide it by 100 or uh, 1000 rather we get 73,528 kilo newtons right so that's how we determine um, the, 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 the maximum load so this value here all right it is the maximum load it is the load that can be able to be carried by that connection it cannot be more than this anything more than this our connection is going to fail all right so that's what we're trying to determine 